Thanks to Corsair and Synergy for sponsoring our coverage of Computex 2017. You can check them both out at the link in the video description. All right, guys, so we're here in the Corsair suite where they have, I would love to say, one of the most over-the-top PC case concepts that we've ever seen, but that would be a downright damn lie because this is the most over-the-top case concept we have ever seen. This is the concept slate, and I'm standing close to the camera intentionally. Why is it so quiet in here? You guys can keep talking. It's fine. And I'm standing so close to the camera right now so that I can hide a little bit the utter scale of this this freaking monstrosity. Look at it. This thing is 120 liters of volume of pure enthusiast grade PC goodness. To put that in perspective, compared to the Gigabyte Brix VR, which holds a quad core Core i7 processor and a GTX 1060, this is, I did the math ahead of time, but uh, I apparently didn't write it down, but it's a lot more times. I think it's like, 48 times the internal volume. So what on earth would you do with that kind of space? Well, Corsair clearly has some idea what you would do. So the first thing you do is put in two motherboards because <laughs> Duh, right? So you can put up to an EATX or SSI EEB motherboard in here up on the top and then get this. It comes with PCI Express risers so you can either put all of your, you know, graphics cards and red rocket accelerators in, you know, horizontally like some kind of stone age chump or you can turn four of them horizontally so that you can see your SLI graphics cards in all their water-cooled glory. Oh yeah, Corsair apparently makes um, custom water cooling parts now, so that's fascinating. Then you go ahead and you put another motherboard in here. So the ITX motherboard, which still manages to have two expansion slots, that's how big the back of this case is, goes right down here at the bottom. And they've even got a bunch of hardline tubing in here showing how you could potentially water cool both systems. Now, in terms of radiator support, I'd love to say this is where it gets more ridiculous, but everything about this case is on a scale of ridiculous that you can't really measure it anymore. So we've got slide out radiator trays for the top and the front. You can either put, uh, I think it's up to a quadruple 120 or quadruple 140 on the top. Am I getting that right? And then you can put up to two quadruple 120s here in the front. It's got reservoir mounting completely up the butt, so you can put a reservoir basically anywhere you want here or anywhere you want kind of at the back in there. So it can hold up to 34 fans if you were to install push-pull configurations on every radiator. And to be clear, that does not include the power supply fans, because of course you could need up to two power supplies. So there's an ATX one here under the mini ITX motherboard mount, which you can take off if you want to, you know, gaze upon your power supply in all of its glory. And then there's an SFX one that you can take out a reinforcing bracket and cram in at the back. Speaking of the back, that's where you put all your drives. It takes up to five three and a half inch drives because that's how unimportant hard drives are these days. You could have 120 liters of space and you still don't want more than like, I don't know, here's five hard drives, no big deal. And then they've got room for, I think it's up to eight two and a half inch SSDs at the back. And of course, it's got all the latest features as well. So it's got full RGB integration with Corsair's new, what is it, Commander Pro? Something along those lines. Yeah, I'm getting the nod. As well as an RGB logo at the front, two USB 3.1 type C's, four USB 3.0 regular size connectors and curved tempered glass. Yes, my friends, each of these side panels probably weighs about as much as I do between the gigantic pane of glass and the aluminum kind of, uh, you know, whatever we'll call this piece. So there you have it. Does this make any sense? I'm not sure. But what I do know is that when I made that comment, Corsair helpfully pointed out to me that while it may or may not, with 120 liters of internal volume, they could cut me up, put me in a blender, and literally pour me into it. But that's probably a coincidence. And we're back. Okay, so thanks for checking out this video here in the Corsair suite, and a huge shout out to our sponsors for Computex this year. Corsair, actually, who, now that I think about it, this is sort of ironic. Um, our, our coverage is brought to you by the Corsair One. 
a PC that's uh, sort of not that much less powerful than this, but is literally one-tenth the size. You can check it out at the link in the video description. It's available with the GTX 1070, 1080, or upcoming, a 1080 Ti and a quad-core Core i7. And it's also brought to you by Synergy, which works perfectly with this as well, because Synergy allows you to use a keyboard and mouse seamlessly between two computers. Like, oh, I don't know, say for example, if you went crazy and bought a tower like this that fits two computers inside it. So check out the link below to save 25% off Synergy. Don't miss any of our Computex 2017 coverage by making sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys again at the next booth.